update we got about 50 miles or so to San Felipe and this road isn't too bad you know I was always kind of concerned you always hear stories about the Mexican roads and highways um, you know it's not the best I've ever been on it's definitely not the worst actually California had worse roads than this um, we've had a couple rakes passes from Oregon um, Washington and we just had a van passes from Iowa and if you guys are coming down and you're driving and you're caravanning, this right here, walkie talkies, Dave and Val are in front of us, Jim and Rita are behind us, we all are on the same channel, and it's so nice to talk to each other. You know, uh, Dave and Val warned us about our first highway speed bump, which was really nice, or if there's a big pothole, which hasn't happened yet. Um, so, walkie talkies, in my opinion is a must-have if you're caravanning because it's so nice in case someone has a trouble or you got to do a peace stop or whatever um, this this works instantly and you don't have to use your phone to text or make a phone call well it's about seven o'clock our very first morning here in San Felipe Baja Mexico I'll whip you around show you what I'm looking at water looks awesome and I just got done setting up my first surf casting reel and rod and we're gonna give it a whirl I have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> but you know what as long as I got a lure in the water I got a chance uh, water looks awesome this morning um, late last night there was some you know decent waves but uh, this morning it looks pretty damn cool so I'm gonna take my first cast and uh, see what happens man these things cast a mile and a half I got two casts in um, just using this little, uh, it's about a three ounce stick bait, it's supposed to imitate like a herring or a sardine. Again, I have no idea if this is really good fishing right here or even this time of the morning. It definitely looks like it's low tide, but I'm just going to wander the beach and, uh, just take some random cast. There's got to be something out there. Well, good morning, everybody. It's our second morning here. And I thought I'd show you around our campsite. This is an, actually an abandoned RV park. And it's being taken over by, well, sand dunes. Um, not a whole lot of amenities here. Um, there is some bathrooms um, they're a little sketchy but they still work but it's nice that you don't have to you know use your black tank on your trailer as you can see by the drone footage is completely abandoned uh, they charged us um, $15 a night but it's kind of nice because there is a, a guy up there with a gate and a little bit of security and so far so good, but it's just so weird. I mean, at one point in time, this looked like a pretty nice RV park. And now it's just, it's, it's, it's kind of eerie in a good way, <laughs> but it is right next to the water. Not a bad spot for our first, I think we're gonna stay here about five days. I did catch a little pompano, I believe, yesterday. Maybe 12 inches or something, so I'm gonna be using it for bait. My buddy Jim's down here on the point already fishing. And we're just trying to figure out all this uh, surf casting fishing and saltwater fishing, because this is all new to us. 
but um, I gotta tell you it's a pretty cool place found this on iOverlander once again and uh, I would definitely stay here again for Buenos dias oh, senoritas Hola. Hola! Can I get you a cold beverage? Si! So we have Tecate and we have Tecate I will have a Tecate Uno Tecate okay. Por favor Por favor Oh, muchas gracias Welcome to Resident Bethel 2 we have a very strict policy here. Please shower off before you get in the pool because we don't want any sand in the pool. Yeah, we wouldn't I want agree. that either. Yeah, no. that would be no. bad. Cheers. Cheers. You know what? I will have a Tecate with you. Cheers. 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 Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. This resort is beautiful. The sand is perfect for perfect. swimming. Yes. 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 Have you tried the hot tub? You really you should know what? try the hot tub. Let's show everybody the hot tub in the pool. Okay. As you can see, it's nothing but four-star luxury here. So here is our main pool here. Please wipe off your feet before you get in. You swim up here to the swim up bar to get your tecate. Yep. See? See? Come show our these beautiful seats. Beautiful. It's very padded. <laughs> Low rider seats. It's not as warm as we would like it to be in the pool, but you know. Yeah. We make do. Yes. And then if you're feeling a little bit chilly from our sand pool, you can try our very, very warm hot tub. Oh, doesn't that look refreshing? Mm. And now we are going to demonstrate how to use the outdoor shower so you don't get any sand in the pool. And these fine, bonita senoritas are showering to make sure no sand gets in the pool oh, or the hot here. tub. Oh, I set mine up here. Oh, yes. It is so hot, I need to put my hat on. This is such a bizarre place, but it's, it's safe. This is day number three here. Yeah, day three here. It's, <laughs> it's, it's interesting. Um, but you know what, we feel very safe here. Um, the only problem, yes, Reuben the caretaker has been very good. The only problem is there's some dogs that get in the garbage, but I think I fixed that this morning. Well, Dave and I just rode our e-bikes out to the point. That's where we're staying right down there. Dave's got his milk carton basket with the rod and reel and shrimp. Two thousand dollar bike and a. <laughs> garbage basket on it and we are going to try to catch some fish right off this point Dave caught a small we're not even sure what it was um, last night in the dark um, there is halibut supposedly off this point and hopefully now we got some uh, shrimp for some bait and we are going to give it a whirl Buddy. It's our last night at this abandoned RV park. I gotta tell you, as weird and funky as it was, um, it was pretty dang cool. And we are cooking tonight quite a feast. Check this out, what we got at the local fish market. Look at the size of those clams. I got eight dozen for nine dollars. Uh, 
and I, I cooked a couple just as a sample. No butter, no wine, just steamed in pure water, and it was one of the best clams I ever had. So right now we've got onions and garlic. Dave's working on some um, celery and some carrots that we're going to put in here. And I got to tell you, these clams are going to be awesome. Salir y se suelta, fango en la reggaeton pa' mí, que muñeca, me gusta salir y se dosis. 